to the the concert thing. Um, Karen and Joy Brown will start attending. <laughs>
right away, Karen. Yeah. <clears throat> Had to come a long way. My goodness. <clears throat> Traffic's good and all that. The stairs. There wasn't a lot of traffic on the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. I think it's about, oh, about 30 seconds away from seven. So we will, <laughs> we will get started. And my name is Karen Joy Brown here with David Silva and our home in Snow County. Um, and we're happy to be a part of the Flatbed Couch Tour series, kicking it off uh, every Friday at 7. And uh, here we go. This one, uh, this song. What? Oh. Seven o'clock on the dot. It's Seven o'clock on the dot. It's good stuff. We're going to start off with a song um, back from when before I lived in Sonoma County, um, when I was in in Chico, California, so shout out to those Chico people who are watching. Um, this song is called The Porch Song because in Chico, uh, people, at least then, still knew how to sit on a porch and watch life go by and that's where the good stuff happens, so. Something's happening down at the hall Yeah. 
hear some clapping. Oh, you do? Somewhere out there. Let's see if uh, <laughs> our tech is doing. Yeah. Check break. Um, no, no tech advice yet. Good, good. Well, this is great. Thanks for joining us. It's nice to feel a little less alone. I'm doing something live. Well, um, let's see. We're going to go into our next song, which is a different capo. It's no capo. Oh, goodness. I'm, on the, I'm not looking no properly at the set list. right here in Sonoma County after all the things that have happened to all of us over these last several years I like that song um, taking the idea that blooming everything that goes into making a flower bloom it's not all the pretty bloom it's the dirt and the, the muck and the, um, all of those things that that cause the blooming to happen uh, let's see. Oh, what's next? <clears throat> 
<clears throat> looks like looks like side steps oh, next. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And another another song that I wrote around um, being here in Sonoma County. Um, very appropriate for this time. And it's a uh, side steps a, a song about how life uh, brings us these challenges and these these unexpected events and if you can picture um, trying to wade through a stream if you if you've done that that you're picking your way over the rocks and it's it's not a straight process it's not a straight line you have to um, carefully choose where you're stepping and it's it's a sidestepping process and it's kind of surreal sometimes so that's what this song is about um, it's about um, facing what is and and the solution which is being who you are now rather than the um the you that you're not anymore and you're not the you you're gonna be just being right who you are now really thanks <laughs> you probably want to say something she does not want to say something okay that's not surprising there's a small person smaller person in the room This next one is called What We Didn't Say. And um, gosh, you know, sometimes songs take a long time 
to incubate. And I probably wrote this song, um, gosh, probably eight years ago, maybe. Um, and, you know, I've always liked it, and I've played it at some shows. Um, it hasn't made it to the recording yet. Um, the last one is also um, not made it. The porch song is on a recording, so if you go to my website, karenjoybrown.com, it is on there. The last two we're working towards getting to a recording, um, slowly but surely. This one, too. Um, this one, um, you know, a lot of these songs I realized I was, as I was... Um, preparing for tonight was that um, a lot of these songs are about process, are about that, again, non-linear process that we all go through to find our way. And um, I don't know a soul that can't relate to this song about all of the things that we don't say in relationships, whether it's with loved ones, um, family, um, romantic relationships, children, whatever. There's so much that we're not saying, and that's often what kind of undoes us. So.
Rodrigo Silva on guitar, on both electric and acoustic, when he so deems it. I enjoy that one a lot. Um, all right, let's see. What's next on the list? We have, oh boy, yeah. This one's a, this one's a doozy. Um, this one's called um, Send Me a Sign. And uh, super mellow, you guys. It is. Um, this is one of those that, you know, part of, again, I might, was preparing tonight, one of the reasons that I, um, music is so important to me, is that it gives me a space to, to feel things that are maybe sometimes too difficult to feel outside of the music. Um, it's like a safe place um, to uh, explore the depths of whatever the feeling may be. Maybe it's joy, maybe it's um, sorrow. And this one um, really, of course, is pretty, it's pretty heavy on the sorrow, but it's also um, very redemptive. And um, it's when we can find that place uh, where we're at peace with those we have had uh, a struggle with, and we, have, we are able to come back down to the essence of what it was that um, connected us with that person. And um, all we want anymore is just we, want, we wish them well, um, and, and we wish for that um, connection to remain of love. So, um, and I think we can, it is, but we, <laughs> I think we can um, relate to this feeling, especially now, of the send me a sign when you just feel like so alone out there. So, um, see what you think. adjustments. See how it goes. It's important.
I suppose. <laughs> what do you want next? Nice. Um, let's. Hmm. So I think we have two more. Yeah. One um, or two more. Yeah. Let me check my uh, my technical consultant here. Yes. You should. How many more do we have, uh, Flatbed? Just find <laughs> me a text. You know how to find me. We'll start with one for sure. And I think where is that? So say something. I can. And Nipo's not saying anything. She's looking? hiding in the no. corner. That's not going to happen. That's right. Okay. Um, but are you looking at um, TV then? Or? Let's watch some TV. That sounds good. <laughs> No. All right, this next song is called Made for TV. When um, sometimes the stupid decisions that we make, um, oh, the well-intentioned, uh, but sometimes not so good decisions we make, um, end us up in a made for TV sort of a situation. So that's what this song is about. Yeah, two more. Oh, all right. Just saying. Okay, all right. All right. Very strict. Mm. Save enough 
I'm a high school teacher at Windsor, so shout out if there's any Windsor people um, that are watching, whether live or recorded. And um, Windsor's done a great job at so many schools. My daughter's school here at um, Apple Blossom has done an amazing job dealing with all this craziness. And um, uh, I just wanted to share a, a funny event that you know um, there are some up. There's an upside to distance learning because um, you know I'm a high school teacher, so. Um, I was doing a little Zoom class, and uh, this is not a story about Zoom bombing, because there's some really serious, bad Zoom bombing. I'm very fortunate. That didn't happen to me this week. It did happen to some colleagues, so um, it's out there. But um, uh, really, most of my Zoom little classes that I had were just wonderful time connecting with students that I haven't seen in a while, and it was it was really heartfelt and wonderful. And um, I have I have some classes that are a little more wild than others. God bless them. And um, so within the first about 30 seconds um, of a class, um, I, I was like letting people in. I usually keep them muted, um, everyone muted at first, but I'd had some good experiences. So I was feeling, you know, confident. And I'm like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll take the mute off for when they come in. I'm like, and I was starting class. I'm like, okay, class, and I'm almost in base I was doing our official opening. And about, you know, just 10 seconds into it, um, references, some anatomical references started. And all I had to do was click mute all. And it was so beautiful. So um, you can't do that um, in the classroom, the live classroom. It doesn't work. So um, there are some upsides um, to the chaos. Uh, Thanks for that, Ben. I think this is our last one. This is. I think this is our last one. Um, Thanks and everybody speaking for of, watching. Yes, thank you so much. And speaking of flatbeds, you know, it's kind of on that theme because it's uh, this song is Fabulous Junkyard. Um, those last two, Made for TV and Junkyard, are on the website. Um, you can get them digitally. At KarenJoyBrown.com. Yeah. And if you liked any of those ones that I said weren't recorded or you want to tell me in the messages, like which ones, you're like, oh, I love that song. That will encourage us more to get the recordings done. Keep so, two. oh yeah, right, recording mode too. But uh, speaking of flatbeds, where you can um, maybe haul a car that's not working so well, this song's called "Fabulous Junkyard." <laughs> All right. Ready. Junkyard never seen so many models and makes. They were once all lined up in a showroom, 
what a fabulous junkyard. A real gold mine if you got the eyes. Don't you dare pay what the dealer is demanding. Cause second hand parts will do you just fine. flatbed thing it's hard for us to get out and do stuff so this is really a perfect gig for us um, and again if you like any of this stuff check out the um, KarenJoyBrown.com um, website and you'll see what music is around there it's on Spotify and all of that and then we'll hopefully get to work recording the other stuff so next week Friday at 7 on the 24th it looks like we're gonna have Josh Windmiller who is such an important um, champion of the Sonoma County music scene. There's he's the count the organizer of countless events. So um, we gotta tune in for Josh Windmiller. So thank you, I Dave Silva and others. Thanks, Buenas Karen. noches. See. Sí. So Hasta great. luego. Thanks everybody. I'm gonna click this little button now. Bye bye.